the chicken like this. All right, these ladies and I, say hi. Hi. We're going to Walmart to get a craft item. We're gonna do a fun tie-dye. Plus we're gonna get an easy dinner uh, for tonight. So, <laughs> reading. But it's so much work. It's gonna be chicken pork cordon bleu. Okay, I'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're fans of chicken cordon bleu. Sounds really hard, but it's really easy because we buy the frozen kind. Anyway, so we're off to Walmart to get the stuff for our craft and do some camp shopping because their camp is coming up. So that's what we're off to next week. Yay, I get to be without them for a whole week. Oh, wait. I said that out loud. <laughs> way ahead of time and we put them in a crock pot and then we fill the crock pot up um, if we start it in the morning we do it with cold water but since we're starting it late we're gonna do warm water so that they get done by about 4 30 anyways I'll set it on high and then um, we'll uh, drain them and mash them okay and here is a great tip do salt water. Makes it easier to season the potatoes after they're done. Okay, and a little tip that I usually do if I think I'm gonna be cutting it close, and if I'm gonna be here at the house to watch it, I put a towel over it, because it'll hold the steam in better, because, I mean, even though this does have a seal, it still lets um, heat escape. So, I put a towel over it, and that actually helps it um, get done quicker. But only do this if you're at the house to watch it because you don't want to catch anything on fire. So that's my tip. Oh, are, are you, are you oh. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> not me, not me. <laughs> you sprayed it yourself. <laughs> Turn it around, you can get silver. Okay, so here is the next phase of our easy dinner. We're gonna put some parchment paper down on the pan. And then we're gonna prep the chicken like this. You just, <laughs> you just take, it, take it out of the bag, put it on the baking sheet, and it's prepped. <laughs> yeah, so we're going easy today. We haven't got to our um, craft yet because Nicole had to go to work and she wanted to do the craft with us. But we went ahead and did an easy dinner anyways, even though I had time to do a, a not easy dinner. But this is really good. All we do is bake the chicken. We get these from Aldi's, they're 99 cents. Um, so you bake it and then um, about, when it's it's like 20 minutes, at three, 375. I think we could get 375 for like um, 40 minutes. But when it's at 20 minutes, I will add um, yeah. frozen mixed vegetables. And I usually, I don't know if I have one, but I usually sprinkle, um, what do I sprinkle? Italian dressing mix, the dry mix for Italian mm -hmm. dressing. Yes. Mm -hmm. I usually sprinkle that over the mixed vegetables to give them some flavor. If I don't have one of those, we're just gonna do garlic and salt and pepper. Yeah, I also add Parmesan cheese to the mixed vegetables. But this is the main course, and our potatoes are um, cooking right now. So hopefully by 4.30, 5 o'clock, dinner will be ready. And we'll just do a quick um, gravy, you know, gravy packets. So that's a super easy meal, and everyone eats it. So we do it probably <laughs> way too often around here once, twice a month. Anyway, so these are gonna go in the oven. And you don't really have to cook it 40 minutes. You just wanna cook it until it, the temperature reaches 165. Um, I don't have to my thermometer, but I keep a meat thermometer around because as soon as this reaches 160, 165, we take them out. That way it doesn't get overcooked.
our craft today is a twist on tie-dye. Sydney, I'm, I'm going to give you creds. Sydney was watching a life hack and they put the tie-dye in. And so instead of tying it, we're going to spray it. So, we're so each going to do the spray dye, not tie-dye. Spray dye. So we're each going to tape, we're going to tape a design on our shirts and spray it with the color and then whatever's taped will still be white. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. Nicole's going to put number two on her shirt. I'm the second child. That's what I was meaning. What are you making? I'm going to put 05 on the front and I don't know what I'm going to do on the back. I'm gonna put like baker. I'm just gonna do designs. I'm gonna do like a little whole thing. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so what are you doing? Random. I'm doing baker. Three. Baker what? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. What is in mine? Yeah, what are you doing? It's on Sydney's here. What does she got? I probably just want droplets, baby. I tried to get the girls to do this because it's going to bleed through and then I don't think the tape will even work the way it's supposed to if we don't keep it from bleeding through. So I have covered a piece of cardboard in my trusty old Aldi's bags and I'm going to slip that under my shirt to keep it from bleeding through. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> It started going back this way with the wind. Okay. happen is hopefully when we pull the pieces of tape off that's gonna be white under there that's the whole this is the project it may not turn out but we're still gonna wear our shirts anyway
are our shirts and they're gonna hang here until tomorrow morning and then we'll wash them well we'll take the tape off and then wash them or wash them and then take the tape off I don't know so this is our tie-dye experiment project and they look extremely cool now all we have to do is wash them and dry them and see what they look like after that but so far we like what we see I love it. Of course you would do neon colors. Baker number two because she is Baker girl number two. My friend is 05 because I was born in 05. And birth year. It turned out really cool. And look at those teeth. Stop! <laughs> okay. Here's the finished product on our shirts. Everyone was a tad disappointed because the colors washed out more than we thought. But I think they turned out cool anyway. And Sylvia doesn't want to be in the picture because, you know, whatever. But this is the finished product. Yeah.